Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and we are taking a look at the iPad mini. This is Apple's latest tablet and it is a little brother to the regular size fourth generation iPad. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up, check it out and see what's inside here. As you can see on the front, we have the iPad mini itself and the side we see the words iPad mini right there and we have the same thing on the other side here nothing special going on we do also have some specifications and stuff on the back here nothing crazy going on with the box it's your standard Apple device box so let's go ahead and get into the box here we're just gonna break this seal on the side pop off the plastic and here we go. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box here. And this is the 16 gigabyte white model. And there she is in all her glory, the iPad mini. Let's pull this out of the box and we'll take a look at this in a second. We're gonna check out everything else inside of here. So as you can see here first, we do have the same little power block that you see when you purchase an iPhone just exactly the same i don't think there's anything different about this it is a standard power block <laughs> let's go and check in here we do have a lightning cable right here as you can see a nice little mini lightning cable connector apple's newest connection method for the ios devices and then we have a little manual booklet here so we have ipad mini ipad info and some stickers this is pretty much the same thing for every iOS device, nothing else really happens inside of those little white boxes. And the box is empty now, nothing else in there. So put that aside. Now here is the star of the show. This is the iPad mini. It is very, very small. As you can see, I can pretty much one hand it like this. No problems at all, one hand it. And you know, to me, it, it actually looks like a bigger iPod touch than it does an iPad mini just because of the, the bezels here. And I'll show you that in a minute. Let's get this plastic off. We have our nice shiny little apple there and we will pull it out here is the ipad mini and it is definitely a beautiful product it's a very pretty little ipad i must say and we have metal buttons here on the side let me get you a close-up of that we have some metal buttons right here on the side as you can see they're not plastic as they are on the third and fourth generation ipad or any other ipad for that matter we have a headphone jack here on the top microphone and our lock power button right there. Nothing on the side here. This is the Wi-Fi model. And on the bottom, we have stereo speakers and a lightning connection port. Now, yes, these are stereo speakers, but in my opinion, it's, it's not going to make a huge, huge difference. And on the back here, you see that we have this nice shiny Apple logo, the iPad word is nice and shiny there. Yeah, and so that's pretty much it. Our camera, our buttons, our Apple logo there. Everything looks pretty snazzy. I am definitely excited about this, but I'm more interested to see the screen. Before we look at the screen though, I wanna do a little comparison between all of the other iPads here. So let's pull out the fourth generation iPad. So we have our fourth generation iPad right here. And in comparison to the iPad mini, our size there, just like that. And next, let's get out the iPod Touch. So here's our fifth generation iPod Touch and the iPhone 5 in case you're curious to see how that looks in comparison there. I mean, the iPhone 5 and the iPod Touch fifth generation are pretty much the same size, so we don't really need that in the equation there. But, but as you can see, this is how everything stacks up against each other. And this is why I was saying it looked more like an iPod maxi instead of uh, an ipad mini here is because of the bezels on the side as you can see that it looks like this is a bigger brother to that than uh, the ipad mini being a little brother to the fourth generation ipad but that's just my opinion so let's go ahead and boot it up i want to check out the screen and just give you some first hands-on opinions right here first off it is very, very thin. Let's compare it to the fourth generation iPad. It's substantially thinner than that. I would say, and it's, well, it's a little thicker than the iPod Touch fifth generation, a little thicker, but not by much. I actually, it's probably very, very close to being the same. So let's boot it up now, enough talking. Now, I am used to Retina devices, so this is going to be different, definitely. And there we go, we are all booted up now. 
And let me just look at this real quick. I mean, honestly, the display isn't just right off the bat. It's not horrible. It, it definitely isn't. You know, you can tell the difference here, especially when you've been using the iPhone 5, which has the new display that's pretty much looks like it's painted onto the glass there. But this is not too bad. All right, so we are in the iPad now, and just looking at it, I mean, it doesn't look horrible, okay? I've heard a lot of people bashing it online. In my honest opinion, it's not a retina display, but honestly, it's not horrible. It doesn't feel super sluggish or anything. Let's load up a couple apps here. Let's load up a website. Everything seems to, I mean, it doesn't look bad, okay? I think it's perfect for browsing the web. It's perfect for reading. It's Maybe it's not the biggest video game uh, contender there, but I don't think that Apple intended on people using this solely for gaming. And it's definitely aimed at a different market. I don't think the screen is bad, but I can definitely tell that it's not Retina. And if that bothers you, then I would stay away from the iPad mini until Apple gives it the Retina treatment because that's going to be the iPad mini that you want to buy. Like I said, though, this definitely does feel like a bigger iPod touch to me than it does a smaller iPad. I mean, look at the two right there. But I'm pretty excited to go ahead and play with this. I hope this was a good hands-on video for you, let you know what you get, what it comes with, how it looks. It fits in the hand pretty well. It's I wouldn't say it'd be comfortable to hold it like this with this little death grip all the time, but it definitely works good. So I'm pretty happy with the form factor of it. I'm pretty happy with the design and the hardware. Basically comparable to the iPad 2 in terms of specifications, but I don't think that's going to be a downfall of it. So let us know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day.